All micronutrients are super important. If we decided to exclude any one micronutrient from our diet, no matter how impossible that may be, even if you're eating fake soylent, there would be serious consequences. So today, instead of talking about all of them, I'm here to talk to you about the most common micronutrient deficiencies and how to prevent them, which is not as simple as just taking a supplement. Hi, my name is Hunter Reed, and I used to be sick all the time. There was a time period in my life where I had pneumonia three years in a row, which is just unheard of, especially for a young adult. But now that I have my eating right, I rarely get sick anymore. I haven't even had so much as a common cold in over two years. There are many, many micronutrients and there are many, many micronutrient deficiencies. But today I'm gonna to talk about the big four that affect a significant portion of the population. First, I'm gonna teach you about the dangers of the deficiencies, then I'm gonna teach you how to prevent them. The four are calcium, iron, vitamin D, and B12. Also, 95% of Americans are chronically dehydrated. Drink water. All I'm gonna say about that, now we could focus on the big four. Calcium, this is a very interesting deficiency as Americans eat more calcium than any population in the entire world, yet Americans also have the highest rate of osteoporosis in the world, which is a disease caused by calcium deficiency. So maybe you think eating calcium leads to a calcium deficiency. Well, that's not the case. Americans also happen to eat the highest acidic diet in the entire world. And your body counteracts this acidity by releasing the calcium from your bones in order to raise the pH of your blood. In order to prevent your body from releasing this calcium, you can counteract the acidity yourself by eating more alkaline foods and by drinking high pH water. Alkaline body environments are associated with lower rates of cancer as well as lower rates of osteoporosis. And alkaline foods consist of fruits, legumes, nuts, and vegetables. So if you haven't noticed, it's very important to eat your fruits and vegetables every day. Eat vegetables at every meal. Even if you're busy, even if you're traveling, find a way to get it in. It's so important. Iron is a deficiency that mostly affects women and vegetarians. Men need much less iron than women and meat contains plenty. Iron deficiency causes tiredness, it causes weakness, it, it leads to impaired brain function. One trick if you're not getting enough iron is to com combine iron rich foods with foods rich in vitamin C as Vitamin C helps our bodies actually absorb more iron out of our food. Examples of a good iron boosting snack would be a handful of pumpkin seeds, which are delicious, and an orange, or you can eat just kale. And if you follow my breakfast routine every day, which consists of half a grapefruit and a leafy green vegetable like broccoli or spinach, you should be all set on iron. Vitamin D, this one is very scary as most of the world is deficient in this and it's associated with awful things like diabetes, cancer, and osteoporosis. All you need is 15 minutes of unprotected sun exposure per day, which means no sunscreen, as sunscreen blocks the ability for our skin to generate vitamin D. You can get this on your daily commute, your morning run, or during your lunch hour. And on rainy days, I actually believe that you should take a vitamin D supplement, but this is just in case of emergency. You need the sun, humans need the sun, we've evolved to need the sun. Lastly, B12. This is for energy. If you're tired all the time, or you're a vegetarian, 
you need to make sure you're getting your B12. It doesn't have to be too complicated to get B12. Um, I talk about a lot of things to eat in my video on what nutrients to eat for energy, and I'll add a suggestion later on in this video. Hint, it's a very popular breakfast protein that people don't eat enough of. If you're worried about deficiencies, eat whole eggs every day and probably more than you think. They're packed with nutrients. High quality protein, healthy fats, calcium, iron, vitamin D, and B12 are all found in eggs. I eat at least six a day, sometimes 12. I think everyone should be having a minimum of three. I am tired of people saying, oh, I'm not that hungry, I'll just have one egg. And I'll throw that on, throw that on a piece of buttered toast with a side of potatoes and then maybe a pancake. It's crazy. For breakfast, eat three eggs, eat a green vegetable like spinach, and a small fruit medley or half a grapefruit and then take a short walk in the sun. It's delicious, it's fun, you'll prevent these deficiencies, and you'll feel amazing. Lastly, fish oil and vitamin D are the only two supplements that I take, and the only two supplements that you'll ever hear me recommend, unless it's just a pill form of a real food versus an isolated nutrient. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you prevent deficiencies. Please share this video with anyone you want to be healthier. Please like this video. Uh, put any questions you have in the comments related to other micronutrient deficiencies or uh, what to eat to prevent the ones I talked about in this video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to make eating healthy super easy. Live and be cool out.